Thanks for joining me. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to connect an NXT LEGO robot, Mindstorm, basically to a Bluetooth device and control it using the MIT's App Inventor 2 software. All right, so let's get started right now. Here we go. So the first thing you're going to look at, you're going to see here we have an NXT robot that is already pre-built. I'm going to share with you some of the components that you need just to do a quick spin around so you can kind of see what it looks like in all facets and all connections and things like that. Um, just going kind of slow here, relatively slow, trying to get this through to you so you can see what's up. You also can see um, the back side of the robot right here. And you can see the connections for the uh, close-up shot of the back here, the, the, the main hub here, the wheel that can spin around just like that. And if you're looking at this, I'm also going to show you the parts that are needed to build this NXT robot. Take a look at this. You can see here we have uh, six we have six pieces here, we have four pieces here, we have two L brackets, you obviously need an NXT LEGO robot. If you don't have a battery pack that's down below, you can use the ones that are listed below here for the AA batteries that fit in here as well. You can use two mo the two motor servos, two mo motors here to drive the wheels, obviously two wheels. You're going to need two cables, you're going to need this bracket of 15 pins. I think it's 15, you can look at the video or pause the video to see how many pins are in there. Um, obviously two wheels and these all go together as I showed you right here. This is the wheel again, that's the wheel assembly. It's not super hard to figure out, it really is pretty straightforward. Um, it's a flat robot design, it will serve the purpose for driving the motor and making the app and app inventor move forward backwards left and right. Moving forward, okay, we have a tablet device here. This could be a phone, um, it depends on your device. Uh, the things will change in time uh, as far as you know devices and mod modifications etc but this is an Android device and what you need to do in order to pair these two together you need to pair them so that they're in sync and when you have a classroom size of students there is a lot of people and a lot of different pairings that start to show up when you turn these, these devices on so here's a word of advice rename your device on your tablet first so that way when you turn the NXT on it recognizes the device first and doesn't get confused with all the other Nexus 7 devices. How do you do that? Well, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to your settings page and by clicking here, you can scroll over and look for the settings icon. Okay, so settings icon. Once the settings icon shows up, you're going to go to Bluetooth. Bluetooth is here. Now, currently my Bluetooth is off, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and it should start to pick up different devices that are nearby and it's starting to pick up the headphones, um, another Bluetooth device that's here, etc. So it might, in your classroom, this is going to populate a lot when there's a lot of different devices, especially NXTs that are turned on and next to it. So before you do that, this little three buttons right here, if you look right here, top right, if you press that, you can say rename this device, okay? You're going to click rename this device, and right now I'm going to call this a different name than test123, but I will say boo yeah. Booyah with an exclamation point. Okay, I'm going to rename this device that. Booyah. All right, so I renamed it, and now the next thing you got to do is you got to pair the devices together. So this NXT is talking to this tablet. How do you do that? You got to turn the NXT Lego robot on. Let it do its thing. Sorry for the shaking of the video here. The next thing, whoa, glare. All right, so I'm going to use the left arrows to get to my Bluetooth settings. I'm going to confirm that using the tap here. And I'm going to go to the search field to search for Bluetooth devices. Now this may take some time depending on the version of your NXT robot, but what you can see here is going to search for the, every available device and it's going to display them um, in the list right here below. What you want to do is you're going to select the Bluetooth device that is the correct name that you want to connect to it or pair it with. Now it should show up shortly. Come on. There it is. All right, and now it's, it's seeing the Nexus 7, which is you guys right here. And then I'm going to turn to the left, and there's Booyah with an exclamation point. That is that device. So I'm going to hit, yes, I want to connect to that. I'm not exactly sure what 1, 2, 3 is, but I'm assuming it's the signal strength or different versions or whatever. So I'm just going to hit 1. It's going to try to pair with that. It's going to ask you for a pass key. Right now the default pass key is 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to say perfect. Hit enter to confirm that. It will prompt you right away 
uh, to pair with an NXT. So I'm going to type in the pin number, one, two, three, four. Now important, one thing you got to do is make sure you hit the checkbox here first before hitting the OK button. If you do that, it might not pair correctly. I'm going to hit OK, and you will see that the paired device is now connected to the NXT robot. Okay, there it is. These two are paired, and now I will show you how to make the App Inventor icon to talk to this and then run the app on the, uh, on the, on the um, tablet so you can cr control the NXT. Thanks for watching, and again, if it doesn't show up on the paired devices or there, it's not prompting you, shut off your Bluetooth, turn it back on, and it will show. It should prompt you right away for that. But that's just a, a tip for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly on how to make the app and make the app work with the NXT. Bye.